I bet at some point in your life, and maybe even today, I'm guessing, that you probably have neck pain. Neck pain can come from just rotating my head, can cause pain. Uh, even when you're trying to back up, you notice that the older that you get, the more you have to rely on your backup camera in your car. You also start to begin to notice that as you stand up, the head leans forward, and you think that's an aging process. Today, I'm going to show you that that's not the case. And in my episode three of the Limber Up Life Up, we're going to dive deep into the neck and shoulder issues, and we're going to leave you with three stretches that you can do today to start stopping that problem. Welcome back to the Muscle Repair Shop. Today, in episode three of Limber Up Life Up, I'm gonna go in deeper about why most people have neck pain and how we can solve that, that pain in your neck by giving you three stretches that you can do today. So let's start with what I call the power trio. That's the front of the neck, the very back of the neck, and then down on the sides coming over here, down into the shoulders, are what I call the power three. And the reason for that is those three areas control every movement of the head. So when you look at the, the back of the neck where most people get their pain, what happens there is that the head tends to lean more forward, whether you're working on a computer during the day, how you sit in your car. A lot of times people will recline their seat back in their car and when they do, the head starts to lean forward because even though the back goes back in a reclined position, you have to bring the head forward to see over the hood or sitting in a recliner at home. What happens there is that the muscles on the front of the neck start to tighten and they begin to stay in that tightened state so that when you stand up straight and you're trying to lift your head up, the muscles on the back side are overworking because the muscles on the front side are too tight. You can stretch your neck down as many times as you want and you can have someone pound the back of your neck all that you want, but until you loosen these, this pain doesn't stop. The next set of people will find pain as they rotate their head from side to side. Many times if you rotate your head to the right, for instance, they will feel a pain on the right side of the shoulder. They may wake up from sleeping that way. They may work on a computer where their head is turned a certain way all day long. Either way, that muscle hurts over here as you turn your head to the right. Now, most people will go to work over here. The person with the neck pain believes the cause is here, and I bet you do too. The thing is, is when you turn your head to the right, this muscle has to contract to make that movement happen. At the same time, this muscle has to release to make that happen. If this muscle is in a tightened state and you try to turn your head, the pain shows up here because you're overworking this muscle, fighting with this muscle. The third set of people that I work with have a hard time lifting their head up. A lot of times I'll get guys who will come in and their wives have talked to them over and over about standing up straight, they're looking like an old man, and in their mind, they think this is part of the aging process. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's a bad mechanics process, and it happens over time to people as they age because of poor habits and how they stand and how they sit. The muscles on the front side of the neck here will tighten on you, and as it does, it pulls a head forward. For me then to lift my head up to stand up straight, it causes a lot of pain on the back of my neck and down between my shoulder blades. Recliners are famous for creating this problem for people. Reclining seats in your car are famous for this. But let me preface all these things and say that even with the stretches I'm gonna show you today, this is not going to change in 24 hours. You can't develop something over the last 10, 15 years and think that in 24 hours it's gonna stop. This is a daily thing that you wanna do regularly and what you'll notice over time within a few days to a few weeks is how much easier it is to stand up and how much less pain you'll have every day. 
And so when you get into the muscles being tight here because your head is forward, the shoulders are gonna round in at the same time, which is gonna make this problem even worse. So many times that I can't turn my head so far, I can't hold my head straight up, will be looked upon as an aging process, and that is just not true. So let's get into those stretches for the day, and let's get you started with that. Okay, on to the stretches, and this is the easy part. And you can do this sitting on a hard back chair. Please don't do this in a recliner. And I know that sounds funny, but I've had people to ask me that question. You could even do this standing up to some degree. I would suggest sitting down just in case you, don't, you won't lose your balance as you're trying to stand and move your head in different directions. But the first one, which is the easiest one, is how to stretch the back of your neck. Now, when I'm doing that, the first thing I do is I sit in that hard back chair. My back is nice and straight. I'm not slumped over or anything like that. And I will tuck my chin in slightly just like this. I'll put my hand up on the crown of my head here. I'm not pulling hard. And this is the one thing when people are stretching, they make the mistake of thinking that I've got to really manhandle these muscles. And that is not true. Your muscles are more emotional than they are physical. The harder I pull, the more the brain's gonna sense danger, even though it's you doing it, and will tighten the muscles to fight back. So what you wanna do is tuck the chin first, put the hand at the crown of your head, and then gently use it pretty much the, just the weight of your hand. Let your head fall downward as you do that, and you'll start to feel the stretch, not only in the back of the neck, but coming down between the shoulder blades. As you bring your head down, I want you to breathe or exhale out as you do that, allowing the body to, and the brain to relax. And you're only gonna hold this for five seconds, so I don't think you gotta be there for 30, 40, 60 seconds at a time. Every muscle has what's called a stretch reflex, and once you pass that five or six seconds of, of pressure on a muscle, the brain will contract it thinking there's something wrong there. So what we wanna do is, is we only wanna hold this for five seconds as we exhale out, and then we're gonna repeat it 10 times. Now the magic in the 10 times is you're actually just showing the brain that this movement is possible and that you didn't hurt yourself or die from it, worst case scenario. The thing is, is that as you go through the 10 repetitions each day, you'll notice that it gets easier and easier as you get to number seven, eight, nine, and 10 versus when it was one and two. And the reason for that is the brain now sees that it's safe. I would do this at least twice a day at the beginning and end of the day, but as easy as this is, you could do this four or five times a day and not hurt yourself. That's the first stretch that I would do. Number two is I would stretch the front of the neck. The front of the neck is a very important part of the neck and movement of the head, and yet very few people really talk about that. So the simple stretch to do for that is to take the palm of your hands, place them under your chin, and feel the weight of your head resting on your chin. Take a couple seconds and do that, and you'll be amazed at how heavy, your head, how heavy your head is. Your head weighs about 10 to 12 pounds by itself. And so feel the weight in the palm of your hands. Now, you're still in that hard back chair, and what you want to do is literally lift your chin with your arms. Do not use your neck muscles on the back side because we just loosened those up. Use your arms and lift the head up towards the ceiling. I don't care how far it goes. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just lift your head up when you do that. Exhale out as you're lifting the head up. Hold that for the five seconds. We talked about that with the back of the neck stretch and repeat that 10 times. You can do this in the car sitting at a stoplight. Don't do it while you're driving, obviously, but while you're sitting at a stoplight, but set it, you wanna be sitting upright so that your torso is 90 degrees to your legs, not reclined. You can't do it in a recliner. I'm telling you, people ask me this all the time. All right, number three, how to get the backside over here. Now, what you wanna do is, is very similar again to stretching the back of the neck, except we're gonna turn the head, in my case here, I'm turning my head to the left, putting my hand on the crown of my head. I want my nose coming down towards my left breast. So as I gently bring, let my head come down, I'm going to exhale out and allow this 
to just let go for the five seconds. And then I'll repeat that 10 times. So again, I'm turning my head left. I'm putting my left hand on the crown of my head. I'm exhaling out as I slowly just let my head fall with the weight of my hand down towards my left breast. This is going to actually open this up all the way down and especially down into here. The caveat to this one is I can rotate my head to the right where my left ear is coming towards the left breast, take my left hand over to the right side of my head and I'm pulling my head like I'm taking my ear towards my left breast and now you're going to feel the stretch more up in the upper part of the neck here on the side part. I would do both of those. Those three stretches, if you do them at least morning and night, but can do them throughout the day, I promise you, you'll be amazed within a couple of weeks of how much better your neck feels and how less tired you feel from that. So those are my gifts for today for the neck. The neck is so huge and it can be safer when you're driving because you can turn your head and see. It can reduce the pain and injuries if you happen to be in a car accident and your head kind of gets whipped around a little bit. It can be so much beneficial for you and it'll just give you a whole lifetime of, of freedom from disc issues and pinch nerves and it, it allows just everything in your head to move correctly. Uh, so that's my tips for today. And other than that, see ya. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to check out the two videos to my left to give you more information to reduce your pain. And don't forget to subscribe down below so you can keep getting these videos. It's free.